One of the most intriguing parts of what I see of my, my profession and my dream, that is, you take a minimalistic cell, you take apart that cell in all of its individual components, you have them all pure in small vials, and I ask you to reassemble the cell. That's the mission impossible. We can't do it. We don't know how to do it. We just don't know how to do it. Why do we have airplanes that go faster than birds? We have cars that go faster than antelopes. Uh, we can mimic many things that you see in nature. But if you go to the molecular level, we can't come up with any artificial thing that has come close in, in the neighborhood of something like a cell. And that's, that's my dream. So what I do, I say, okay, I don't take that cell. That cell is my source of inspiration. But I start from the beginning. We synthesize new molecules. We hope that we can assemble them in such a way that they create more and more complex and complicated structures. They do things that I hope that I can design and find small pieces that resembles that what we know from life. And that is still something that I work on now with the group for more than 10 years. We made a lot of progress, but at very, very tiny steps. When I was in high school, or even when I did my bachelor's, I was not so much interested in science. I even didn't know exactly what, what it was, actually, until I met my later PhD advisor, and he was so excited about the things he was doing as a, as a professor that I got excited as well. And since that time, I'm just all molecules. What we do is molecules. He talked about molecules, and he was telling me this molecule has never been made on Earth ever before, and you can do it. And if you hear something like this and you're 19 years old, you think this is, this is heaven. I started and I, I work on it. I synthesized it and the first time I made a molecule that was never made before on this globe, I was so proud of myself. I thought this is what I want to do for the rest of, rest of my life, working with molecules. <laughs>